make it clear. I'd be crazy if I stopped there. Because I was praying last night and I was like, God, like, what, what do you want to take place? What, how do you want to reach these people? I can come and I can talk about making God made manifest and making God known and the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ and the power of a God who saves and heals and restores and redeems and steps into your brokenness and the power of Jesus to pick you up out of crazy places when you're falling and the power of Jesus made manifest. But so what if I don't avail you to that power? Why talk about the gospel and not offer the gospel? And I'd be a fool to believe that every single pierced person in this room knows Jesus in that way. Has yielded themselves to that power. Has accepted their utter brokenness and need for Christ. And it's so easy to come in and talk about the gospel and not be about the gospel. It's so easy to come in and tell you about Jesus and not offer you that Jesus. And the last thing that I want is for somebody to hear about the power of Christ, to hear about a God that will step into your brokenness, to hear about a God that all you have to do is surrender to, and not tell you, he said, today is the day. Yes. The word of God said in Hebrews, on the day that you hear my voice, and today is somebody's day. I don't know who you are, but God sent me to tell you, he said, today, on the day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. That I want to step into your life and offer you resurrection power. That I want to step into your brokenness. You've been thinking you got to do this thing by yourself. You've been thinking you got to fix yourself up and, and, and make yourself perfect in order to come before God. And I don't care if you come here every Wednesday. If you don't know Jesus today is your day. Amen. The Bible says now is always the time. So I offer you Jesus. I don't offer you a program. I don't offer you a ritual. I don't offer you a routine. Jesus said, I stand at the door and I knock. And if you know him, I need you to pray. Because there's somebody in this room that needs to know Jesus. God, I thank you for the power of your word to save. I thank you for the power of your word to deliver and to set the captives free. And to heal the brokenhearted. And to give liberty. Holy Spirit, do what only you can do. I'm just your vessel, but somebody needs you today, God. That they've been wrestling in their faith, and they've been wrestling in their understanding of this God thing, and they've been wrestling, and they've been fighting it, and they've been wanting more of you, and they've been wanting to know you, but they've been scared, and they've been believing perhaps that they have to fix themselves up. And the beauty of the gospel is when Peter was sinking, you caught him. And there's somebody today, Jesus, that you want to catch. So, Holy Spirit, I pray that you, right now, would give somebody enough boldness to choose you in this moment. That if you want to know Jesus and you want to surrender your life to him today, he said, if you would claim me before man, I'll claim you before my father. I won't be ashamed of you. That in this moment, let shame and fear and condemnation be cast aside and avail yourself to Jesus. That you can walk to this altar right now and salvation is yours today. I rebuke the enemy in the name of Jesus. He seeks to devour, but there is power in the name of Jesus. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. So chains of doubt, chains of fear, chains of anxiety, I release them in the name of Jesus. Today is the day of salvation. And if that's you, God says, come today. That there's no more shame. There's no more condemnation. Today is your day and we'll receive you and we'll pray with you and we'll tell you more about Jesus. But now is your time. Now is your moment.
course, but I know they're here. Today is the day you'll be restored. Today is the day he'll fill you with more. Today, we lose the chains of shame. There's nothing you can do that can separate you from the love of Christ. There is no place too, there is no hole too deep God can pull you out of. Today is your day to yield yourself to Christ. Today is your day. God, they need you. your word would penetrate our hearts and our lives, that we're clear that it is your power made manifest through us, and we'll boast in our weakness, God, that those will look upon our lives and give you honor and glory. We thank you for today, for meeting us in this place, and reminding us that you are strong on our behalf, God. Today 